Hey, hello guys, this is Karthik from ExitAutomation.com and this is part 22 of our Coded UI video series. And this part we're going to start discussing about different types of test attributes available in Coded UI testing. And before watching this part, I would request to watch part 21 of this series. Test attributes. So there are different types of test attributes available in Coded UI testing and we have used three of them very common from the very first video of this series, which are Coded UI test, test initialize and test methods. So as you can see in the Visual Studio, this is the same project which we have been working for pretty long time as of now. You can see that this class has got this coded UI test attribute which is decorated for this particular class. Similarly, for this method we have used test initialize method. So what does this test initialize method will do? This will be called as the first method. The initialize method will be called as the first method for this particular class and this will be executed every time while the class is first called right so this is why this test initialize attribute is being used so we have used this already in our project a lot of videos of this video series there is one more attribute called test method which is very important we have very commonly used this test method attribute a lot of times and we executed them a lot of time in different projects of this video series so these are the three attributes which we have already used a lot of time and there is one more data source attribute here which is also used to retrieve the data from the external data source like this a data.csv file and we retrieve those data from there and then also then we use to populate these data right into our method so we already discussed about this as well right but there are some other attributes like test cleanup class initialize, class cleanup, assembly initialize. So if you are very familiar with Java, then you will be very familiar with these attributes as well. So in Java, like JUnit and TestNG, we have different types of annotations available, like at before test, at after test, at before class, at after class, at before method, at after method, at test. So there are different types of annotations available in JUnit as well as in TestNG. So these are nothing but a test execution framework that are available in Java which can be used to run different types of test methods in a sequence or in a specific order. So all these things can be done using TestNG and JUnit in Java. Similarly, in Coder DUI testing, we have these kinds of different types of attributes available. We have already discussed about these kinds of attributes and how the sequence of execution happens in Coder UI testing in executeautomation.com and you can see that right here. So this is the test execution flow. So for executing a test method, it first has to initialize this assembly, class and then the test. And once test execution is complete, then the test cleanup, class cleanup and assembly cleanup happens. So this is how the class looks like. So Let's start working it in the real time and see how things work. So I'm going to flip to Visual Studio right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to comment this course out right now. And then I'm going to create one more public void coded UI test method 2. All right. And then I'm going to add a attribute here as test method right similarly I'm going to create one more test method right here and I'm going to name this as code UI test method 3 and then I'm going to add a console.write line for this is test method 2 right and then I'm going to copy this code I'm going to paste this right here and name it as test method 3. Great. And this one, I'm going to change it to test method 1. Alright, so we are not using anything from this data source attribute as of now. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to just delete it and I'm going to just leave it as test method. Great. So maybe I can delete this as well, but it will be very clean. And instead of browser at launch, 
I'm going to write a console dot write line and I'm going to write this as initializing the test great so let's try to run this and see how things works so what I'm going to do is I'm going to the test explorer right now and let me build this solution since we have added three methods this should be displayed right here and you can see that these three methods are displayed here like code UI test method 1, code UI test method 2 and code UI test method 3 so now if I execute them all so let's see what is the behavior of the code UI test so it's executing them all great so all the tests got passed and if you see the output here every time for each test test methods it has called this initializing the test and then the test method 1 is executed similarly for test method 2 initialize test attribute similarly for test method 3 it has called the initialize test attribute right so this is how this test is being called one by one as you can see here great so now let's try to add a test cleanup attribute for a method and see if the test cleanup method is called after each and every test method is executed so for that I'm going to add an attribute called test cleanup and then I'm going to write a method called public void method clean it acts like a garbage collector once every test is done it will close the database connectivity or if there is any test error happens then it will also take the screenshot of the test so we can talk about taking screenshot once a test fails later in this video series but as of now let this be the case so what I'm going to do is I won't write test cleanup great so now let me go to the test explorer and let me just run this test and see what is the output of this all right test got passed this is the output here so now you can see that for each and every method it has first called the test initialize method and it wrote initializing the test and then the test method is called and once the test method is executed it then called the test cleanup method attributes and then the test cleanup has been written here so this is how the execution flow of each and every method happens in code or UI testing and this is very important since we are going to use these concepts in upcoming videos of this video series so that's it guys thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day